This is a short video to test some of the .40, .1, .1 uh, updates that include the Deep Rain AI windshield wiper improvements, as well as some lane change tests. So we'll start off with five minutes of this. Just kidding. When I first turned this on, uh, the windshield wipers seemed to run too fast. Um, even in intermittent, it seemed to wipe too quickly. Here's an example where they're continuously running when a slower intermittent process would be more appropriate. The update mentioned that manual input would change um, and help the system learn. So I eventually turned the windshield wipers off and then just used the button when I felt I needed it to clean the windshield. I repeated this process between five and 10 minutes. I would also switch between allowing it to do automatic wipers and just completely turning it off like I did here. And I also switched between um, doing it manually with intermittent um, or different settings and then turning it back on like I did here. At this point, it started to respond better. By the end of the drive, it was doing a much better job of uh, doing a more intermittent type of windshield wiping. Um, now, I don't know if it actually learned, if it was a different situation, if the lighting was slightly different, I'm not exactly sure. So this will take more testing, but I'll have to wait until it rains again. Now this next thing uh, was not in the release notes, but absolutely blew my mind. As we're coming up here, there's a disabled car on the right side of the road. If you look really closely, as we pass, you can see that the Tesla moves to the left side of the lane. After it passes, it moves back to the right side. This is something I've not seen it do before. Let's look at that from the front-facing autopilot camera. You can clearly see it move to the left side of the lane. Here it is at half speed, uh, including the right repeater, where you can really see that it moves over. And then after it passes the car, it moves right back into the center of the lane. This happened one more time on our trip. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it on camera. Unfortunately, my camera placement was really bad for lane change demonstrations, so I will save that for another video. Uh, but I do have to say that it is definitely more aggressive, uh, which is great in traffic, but maybe a little too aggressive on just general highway. It also appears to avoid on-ramps and will also change lanes when it detects a lot of traffic cones um, in the lane or near the lane that you're in. So I'll have another video out with some of those additional features and we'll also do some uh, summon tests with the latest version. All right, thanks for watching.